we're probably going down to the eighth verse. So if you want to keep your Bibles out, hang with me. Uh, so Ephesians chapter number one and verse number one it says, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God to the saints, which are at Ephesus, and to the faithful in Christ Jesus. Grace be to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. You can be seated. Take note there that Paul, in that, in that text, it said that he was an apostle by the will of God. So it was God's plan, it was design, God's design for Paul to be the apostle that he was. And all the things that Paul done, he done a lot of great things. He wrote several books. Um, when he was writing the book of Ephesians and, and many others that he had sent out letters, there were letters to the churches. He sent these out, but he was in prison himself. He was incarcerated, and he was writing some of the words that we read. And you wouldn't think this is coming from a guy that's incarcerated, uh, most of our pastors, most of our preachers, if they were incarcerated, probably include me, I probably wouldn't be as uh, upbeat and stuff in my writings. I'd probably sound more sad. But Paul, he said things like, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And he said, I learned to be content in whatsoever state I find myself in. But that was just the kind of man that Paul was in his relationship with God. The book of Ephesians that we're looking at here, it's a display of God's grace and His mercy to God's people. And I'm thankful for that. That second verse said, Grace be to you in peace. And that's what Paul's greeting was. He was greeting the people of God and he was telling them, God's grace and peace, you know, be bestowed upon you. He was wanting to walk in that place where the grace of God and the peace of God but be towards the people of God. And then he drops on down to the third verse. And he said, Blessed be the God.